Joseph C. Fuller is uh, Britain's most decorated, most celebrated military strategist. He was a British Army officer, stiff upper lip officer, and he was friends with the uh, king. In actual fact, he used to go uh, fishing with the king. And he received many, many medals for developing um, automated warfare. It was JFC Fuller's uh, uh, idea to have uh, tanks uh, run robotically. And he had this great, uh, great uh, plan to really mechanize warfare, to automate warfare. And uh, JFC Fuller foresaw the beginnings of uh, unmanned aerial craft, which would be used for reconnaissance and bombing. Uh, JFC Fuller foresaw uh, the uh, use of enormous tanks, which would basically uh, just trample down most of the world and there wouldn't be anybody inside driving these tanks and they would just go around as killing machines. And JFC Fuller also foresaw the development of things like the cruise missile. Well, JFC Fuller was a full-time strategist for the British military, uh, but he was also a full-time occultist. And he wrote a book um, eulogizing um, Alistair Crowley and describing Alistair Crowley as the new Dionysus and the book that J.F.C. Fuller wrote is called The Star in the West and in fact J.F.C. Fuller as the British Army's top military strategist uh, was Alistair Crowley's right hand man. Now, J.F.C. Fuller was a disciple of Alistair Crowley, and Crowley was the author of a book called The Book of the Law, which calls for an age of carnage and bloodshed, which Crowley described as the Aeon of Horus. And J.F.C. Fuller took this idea from Crowley's Book of the Law, and he formulated the strategies which are now being funded by our tax money. This is actually happening right now. The war of today, the war of the near future, is not going to necessarily involve humans. It's going to involve cyber creatures such as this snake which has been developed by the Israeli military. And these snakes have cameras at the uh, head which transmit uh, pictures to satellites. We've got these cyber horses which have been designed specifically to carry payloads and to carry guns and to hunt down freedom fighters in mountainous regions such as Afghanistan. There is going to be nowhere where people will be able to live in peace. This is all part and parcel of the original plan put forward in the Book of the Law by Alistair Crowley. These cyber horses uh, are going to be deposited by helicopter and by aircraft, and there's going to be thousands of them roaming the mountains 24-7. Now, at the robot control center in Baghdad, in Iraq, we see military people using Xbox and PlayStation controllers sending robots out into the streets, searching vehicles, stopping people in the street, taking photographs of their faces and storing that information into uh, databases. We've also got these tiny pack bots. They're called pack bots because they fit into, the, into a rucksack. And these robots are being thrown into people's houses in the middle of the night. They go upstairs, they interrogate and terror terrorize families. And Obama says he's going to pull the troops out. He's going to take all of the troops out of Iraq. But the question is this, will those troops be replaced by these types of robots? Where are the operators? The three axis M1 vehicles. 
what happens is the operator is holding the view that's actually on the view. Now, in the last 10 years or so, microchips have been developed which are designed to be injected into our bodies. Each of these chips would have a unique code. It would, for example, contain your social security number. The reason why these under-the-skin chips have been developed is so that remote control identification can be done by robots which patrol our workplaces, patrol our colleges, patrol our schools, and patrol our streets. The whole reason why RFID under the skin chips have been developed is so that these robots can then go along and uh, detect who is chipped and who is not chipped. And if you're not chipped, presumably, you're going to be off the database, which means that presumably you could be uh, uh, termed as some kind of terrorist or antisocial threat to this incredible system which we're, we're seeing funded from, from our taxes. And these tiny patrol robots are being manufactured in their thousands and they're going to be deposited all over the planet. And if you remember the 1960s cult TV series, The Prisoner with Patrick McGowan, there was this kind of rover, uh, kind of balloon that was sent out to actually chase people that had escaped from the compound known as the village. Well, there are robots which have been designed, again from our tax money, which can go over all types of terrain. They can um, be sent out to search and to chase people who may be, for example, a political prisoner who's escaped from somewhere like uh, Guantanamo Bay or some other torture center which has been funded by our tax money. These robots know no boundaries. They can actually not only go over all different types of terrain, but amazingly, they can also swim on the surface of water and they can swim under water as well. And these types of robots will be dropped in their thousands across areas where the authorities want to track people, chase people. There will literally be nowhere to hide. This technology is not 10 years away, this is today. Now, if you're somebody who believes in democracy, if you're somebody who believes in freedom, if you're somebody that believes that investing billions and billions of people's tax money in this type of technology is anti-social and anti-democratic, then you might want to have uh, some kind of street protest. Well, there are very, very specialist and very sinister robots being developed in Japan to deal with rioting. This footage is actually a fake riot uh, that's been put together by the German police authorities. And this footage comes from a Japanese techno expo where you can see a riot police officer in full riot gear getting into this enormous robot. Now the people that are standing there are journalists who attended this techno expo and I can tell you now that the journalists were absolutely horrified. They were, they were terrified when this thing started up and this thing is armed to the T. 